wonderful idea to bring children from all places with all kinds of faces together into a sailing ship there were 40 boys and girls they would sail their ship around the globe so they called it the united world the ship was just three weeks from shore when a hurricane bore it down the waves were big as mountains They felt they would surely drown They jumped into the lifeboats Rode away from the wreck They didn't count them, they hadn't time Five children were left behind The children fought the storm all night Then finally fell asleep They didn't realize the ship had been blown Across a reef into the lost heart but hiding in the bushes was a watchful pair of eyes And living in the valley were people lost in time Ruled over by a tyrant whose face was in a mask The children must defeat him so they can escape at last from the lost islands The lost out in the forbidden swamp they must be half out of their minds with fear i'll be careful i pray you will aaron say she was. <laughs> well, come on. Let's try not to ruin German-American relations. Anna, you're as light as a feather. She didn't float under me. She fell. Oh, good day. We knew you'd be afraid. Oh, you can say that again. What's happening? I came to tell you not to fear. This happens, perhaps, once every 12 months. The volcano becomes angry. But it always passes, and by late tomorrow, everything will have quieted once more. Mm. We've had the odd rumble before, but 
never anything like this. You sure it's okay? Certainly. I can't believe it. It's the most incredible thing I've heard in my whole life. It has been thus for nine years past. The tremors began the year after Rufus Quad became our Prime Minister. And he makes it stop just like that? By making offerings to it? Aye. And the tremors stop immediately after he does it? I can't believe it. They make a sacrifice to the volcano. The Prime Minister does. Everyone in the village brings forth that which they hold most dear. A tapestry, rolls of their favourite cloth, a chair or a table, even handfuls of the yellow stones. Every item treasured by its owner. And this has been going on for nine years? Except for one, I think, when the volcano remained quiet. That's a lot of loot to go up in smoke. What a waste. It'd be necessary. I wonder. And it always works? I, David, always. I think it's a lot of bunk. Just superstition. Coincidence. Maybe. But remember what Shakespeare said. There are more things in heaven and earth. Did I ever tell you my theory about Shakespeare being an American? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Just quieten for a moment. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming, Helen. At least we know now we've got nothing to worry about. We can relax. Mm. Post into the main square immediately. Aye, Prime Minister. The guards will collect from every house in the morning one hour past cockcrow. The gifts will be set at the usual place by noon. The carriers return to the village. Be it understood, Mr. Quigg. It be, Prime then Minister. Then dispatch the matter. Aye, sir. Mr. Quigg. It would please me muchly if we could lay hands on even one of the fugitives afore noon tomorrow. Think on it. A human sacrifice. <laughs> I'd dearly like to see one of the brats roast after the trouble it begat me these many months. Even so, my lord. It would be beyond all reasonable expectation. Hmm? Miller! Get out! Oh, be off! <laughs> ah, I keep the pot boiling. <laughs> Persevere. <laughs> Persevere. Tomorrow's booty may be the best yet. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Message to thy mother to leave the village. What's happened? What's happened? Look. I fear the volcano. But it'd be the same every twelfth month. Not the same. It carries a new sound. It's deeper from its from its very bowels. It promises ill, I swear it. Tomorrow the Prime Minister will make the offering from the volcano's base. Then the tremors will cease, as always. Perhaps. But I... I sense something. A foreboding. I can't buy all this junk about making an offering to a volcano. A load of junk. Nor me. It all smells a bit fishy. Except it isn't junk. It's all pretty valuable stuff that gets burned. If it gets burned. What do you mean? According to Helen, as soon as the stuff is delivered to the spot, everyone goes back to the village, except the PM. So no one really sees what happens to it. He's supposed to set fire to it. But what if he doesn't? What's he do with it, then? What use could it possibly be to him? Why doesn't the Q make the offering? He rules the island. He rules the Prime Minister. That's just what I've been thinking. Why doesn't the Q do it? Ask Jeremiah. If anyone should know, he should. Just what I'm going to do. Well, what do you know? I reckon the PM's going to be in for a bit of strife once the Q finds out what he's been doing. I'll say. Mr. and Mrs. Quinn, hmm. the cabin's already. Are you tend to it, Beth? Are you quite sure? Yeah, plenty of room, really. You're most welcome. You and Mr. Quinn will have what was the captain's cabin. But we hope you're wrong, Mr. Quinn. So do I, lad. <laughs> 